My first question will be, is it gone? Because that's, that's what any person that has cancer wants to know, is it eradicated? Anita Warrington will be the first patient to be treated at Emory University Hospital Midtown with a cutting edge type of radiation treatment for breast cancer. I am very, very blessed and lucky and um, I, I, I'm honored to be a participant in this new procedure. Anita is the perfect candidate for this type of targeted radiation therapy because her cancer was caught early and had not become aggressive. This technique is so, so important in uh, giving patients another option for, you know, uh, less invasive treatment. Dr. Rogsberg Phillips is the breast surgeon who spearheaded the effort to bring the precision radiotherapy system, Zeiss Intrabeam, to Emory. You know, we started doing a breast conservation back in the mid-80s, and breast conservation basically is where we remove the tumor and follow it up with radiation, and typically it has been total breast radiation. And over the past two decades, we have realized that we don't have to do that in order to make sure that the cancer is controlled. This applicator is fitted directly into the tumor cavity within the breast, sparing healthy tissue around it. The applicator is placed at the site of the tumor, so we know that the radiation is being delivered where we want it, because that is the site that's at risk for greatest recurrence. Dr. Monica Rizzo, a surgical oncologist at Emory University Midtown, has also been trained on the new system and was on hand for its debut here. This is a huge advantage and a big advantage for the patients that they go from six weeks of treatment before with whole breast radiation therapy, now down to one treatment in the operating room while they are asleep during their case. Dr. Sheldon Feldman of Columbia University Medical Center was proctor for the occasion, advising lead surgeon Phillips and radiation oncologist Gadette during the procedure. You know, we've been using this for about two years. Uh, we've treated about 150 patients and the results really have been uh, great, certainly comparable to the older technique of whole breast radiation. So we're very enthusiastic about this method. For the ideal patient, and that patient really has to be assessed by the surgeon and the radiation oncologist before, but for the ideal patient I think it's a great option if they're willing to try something that's new. Most of these patients will have a very prompt, quick recovery time because it will be just a recovery time from the partial mastectomy that is generally very well tolerated. The cost is less than, you know, six weeks of, of total breast radiation. So it's an effective treatment for early breast cancer. It is more convenient than anything else. And I think it gives you a better cosmetic end result. I leave here today and my life pretty much is where it was the day before I found out that I was diagnosed with cancer. So I could not have asked for anything better than that.